Hi there. Well, 75 years ago, the University of Wisconsin made Aldo Leopold the world's first professor of wildlife management. Leopold is, of course, best known for his classic book, A Sand County Almanac, in which he recounted the sequence of natural events throughout the year at his farm in southern Wisconsin. Yesterday, I drove past the country cemetery that Leopold featured in his chapter for July. And I'd like to quote from uh, that essay. Every July, I watch eagerly a certain country graveyard that I pass in driving to and from my farm. In one corner of this graveyard lies a celebrant of a once important event. It is a pinpoint remnant of the native prairie on which the graveyard was established in the 1840s. This yard square relic of original Wisconsin gives birth each July to a man-high stock of compass plant spangled with saucer-sized blooms resembling sunflowers. This year, I found the compass plant in first bloom on July 24th. Well, yesterday, when I drove past the graveyard and collected these flowers, um, the date was June 12th, over a month earlier than Leopold had seen the compass plant blooming uh, back in the 1930s and 40s. What's going on here? Why would a plant be blooming more than a month earlier? Well, Leopold was a keen observer in the natural world, and he kept track of lots of species of plants and animals, in fact, over 300. Leopold died in 1948 at his beloved shack, but in 1976, his daughter, Nina, retired to Wisconsin and now lives just down the road. She resumed keeping the records that her father had maintained in the 1930s and 40s, and she discovered that there were actually many events that were occurring much earlier than in her father's uh, time. The compass plant was not at all unique. What she found, though, was that some species were occurring earlier, but not all. And this sets the stage for an ecological uh, problem. With, species, with some species occurring earlier and some not, the result is that species are becoming desynchronized from other species on which they depend. Flowers are blooming before the insects that pollinate them hatch. Birds are arriving too late to take advantage of the food supply that they would normally feed their offspring. In other words, the integrity of the ecological community was being disrupted in ways that portend trouble for some species. Well, obviously, Wisconsin is warmer than it was back in, uh, in his time, and as a result of global climate change caused by increasing levels of greenhouse gases. Well, what would Aldo Leopold have thought about this situation in which um, many ecological communities are being disrupted uh, by human-induced uh, climate change? Well, in a Sand County Almanac, Aldo Leopold gave us a golden rule against which we could assess our relationship with the natural world. And that golden rule goes like this. A thing is right when it tends to preserve the integrity, stability, and beauty of the biotic community. It is wrong when it tends otherwise. Obviously, we have broken ecological, or Leopold's, uh, golden rule by allowing global climate change to uh, continue even as we understood its disastrous consequences. Leopold also urged us perseverance in the face of such seemingly insurmountable challenges. He wrote that, that the situation seems hopeless should not prevent us from doing our best. Thank you.